All right, well, thank you guys very much for uh, stopping by, coming back uh, for some more videos here. Um, now we are looking at, today we are looking at two Xbox 360s. Uh, these 360s are a little different than my previous video I shot with the two um, Xenon motherboards. One is a Zephyr motherboard, which is right over here. That's a, that's a Zephyr. And the other, I believe, is a Falcon, which is right here. And I believe that's a Falcon because when I look at the power adapter connector, it doesn't have the, I don't know if you guys can see that, it doesn't have the block in the middle. It just has the bar across the uh, the, the, mid, uh, the top there. I don't know if you guys are picking that up. So, I think that is a Falcon. And it does have the uh, AV um, port and the HDMI port. Uh, indicating that it's uh, either a Zephyr or a Falcon or a Jasper. It's not. It's not a Jasper. Um, so this one is really, it's really dirty. <laughs> it's really dirty. It has stains on it. It's beat up. Has it been opened or not? Um, doesn't look like it from the back. But we can always. Uh, turn around and we can always uh, open up the faceplate to see what happens and this is the elite console that they were selling it has a it has, still has the put it in a camera view it still has the Microsoft seal to it which is down there it looks like it's still intact okay and uh, turning this around it looks like it's has been open um, on the back this is uh, seven. Where's my magnifying glass? All right, so it's 2007. It's a 2007. Um, it's a three. I think it's a three. March 2007. And this one is 2007 and uh, November. November. That one is. Okay, so we're going to test these, but um, unfortunately, I don't want you guys to get your hopes up because these two consoles, uh, let's just say that they're, ah, uh, yeah, they may not work. Okay, so um, this, depending on <laughs> what they do or what I think they're going to do, they may not work. So let's just go ahead and plug them in and test them. So I'm going to move our attention to the TV over here. Okay. Plug in the Elite first. See what happens. There you go. Whoa. Gotta be careful, huh? <laughs> Don't want that to fall down. Okay, let's plug in the Elite. See what happens. Put the audio and video cord in. And since it does have the faceplate to att attached to it, I'm just going to open the disk drive. And it'll just come on. Or it may not. Um, like I was indicating earlier. So let's just go ahead and... The tray is open. But it will... Red ring. So that one is red ringing. Um, there's no video on the screen. It's red ringing. And that's basically what it does. Close the tray. Still red ringing. Now the red, the three rings will indicate either a power problem with the power brick, but this, this power brick is good. I've used it before on other systems. Or an internal problem. System problem, motherboard problem, whatever. Open a tray. Tray does open. So, we'll, find, we'll have to... Uh, when I do one of my teardown videos, we'll have to figure out why that's um, red ringing. We know why it's red ringing. Um, suggestions would be, you know, reflow, uh, CPU, GPU, you know, something like that. And try to clean it, maybe. But this is a red ringer. <laughs> Typical for the Xbox 360. And it's a Falcon. No, not this is a no. It's a, I'm sorry. This is a Zephyr. Yeah, this is a Zephyr motherboard too, and it's red ringing. Okay, so that's console number one here, and the sticker's still there, so I think it has been opened. So we'll just unplug that. And we'll move to the other one. 
move to console number two. There it is, console number two. I said this was a Falcon motherboard based on the uh, power connector in the back. Um, so let's see if this will turn on. Let's see what it does. Uh, audio video cable. Connect the power. And let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see what we got. It's powering up and this will red ring. Alright, there's another red ring there flashing three rings, power brick problem or a motherboard system problem. Alright, so unfortunately this one is And the door is probably jammed on that one too. It's flashing, the door is probably jammed. All right, just go ahead and take the faceplate off, see if it's been open or not. So, from the looks of things, it looks like it has it. So, pop this off. Door still jammed. There is a seal down there. It looks like it's still intact. But it's it's red ringing. And that would be a Falcon motherboard, I believe. So that is red ringing. So unfortunately we will not be seeing anything on the screen with this one. So the two these two systems do need uh, looking at, they do need repair and um That's what that one does. Okay, so turn this one off. Just don't plug it. Well, the good the good thing is though that these systems have not been open, which I think is pretty good. You know, either way, you, you kind of want to get systems that haven't been open or tampered with, and the seals on them are still good. It looks like. I mean that looks like a looks like a solid seal right there. I mean it looks like it hasn't been tampered with. And then you turn it around. And it does look like a, a, no one's been uh, trying to open the back of it. So that's good. Okay, well that one's a bust for now. And this one I think looking at the seal, I think that's still solid. I think that's still a solid seal. It hasn't been tampered with. And this definitely looks clean in the back. I mean, it doesn't look like, I mean, it doesn't look like it's been open in any way. Alright, so these two will need some attention and find out exactly uh, what's wrong with them. Well, we know what's wrong with them, but um, these two are Basically, that is it right now, guys, uh, with these two consoles. They are red ringing, and unfortunately, they will need a tear down and uh, further look, looked into uh, down the road on a different video. So, um, all right, well, listen, I appreciate you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Everybody take care. Have a good day. Bye.